no reason, so now it wanted to be routed on the bottom track. None whatsoever. But it is indeed becoming something, Carrot. Yeah, it actually is starting to look like a thing, which is always impressive. Um, all right, let's take a look at a design rule check. Let's see if there's anything that's not connected. Very angry design rules checker. Um, all right. What's this? LED out. LED four D out. LED four D out has a stubby little end. Okay. Where is it? Oh, there's this weird nonsense. Ah. Not even connected anymore. See, this is why we run the design rule checker. Because it will tell us when things are weird. I mean, yeah. Uh Clev, they're using they're they're using um roll twenty, so it's already not great. clearance hmm. yeah nothing I can do about that that is okay, we're going to go quickly change our whole clearance rules It'd be the uh, the instant ban button. Uh... Those keep out zones are way bigger than they need to be. Clearance, you know, track width, you know, connection width, you know, linear width, top of the edge, top of the hole. No 
Hold true hold. Hold the hold clearance. There's our pieces. Oh, get it! Karata, 31 months and nothing more. Absolutely not. Anything else is a lie. And then asked if I could do something of this nature. So we're gonna we're we're basically working on that, and it's going to be a piece that allows us to basically work our way across like that. Um, I hate how these two are crossing over though. So yeah, that's basically what we're working on, is a uh, little thing that allows us to... Yeah, cat, dog, whatever your animal of choice for, for a keypad would be, that is what we're currently working on. It's, uh... It's not bad. I, I, I kind of, it's an interesting and kind of fun project, and it does line up with something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is my own little QMK kind of situation. So, and QMK is a uh, piece of software used for creating your own, uh, your own keyboards. And yeah, we're, we're just slowly working our way through it. Um, we did a ton of uh, research on how all the different things that we needed to make happen here. Um, and now we're working our way over to actually making this a reality.
so I actually did add that Infino connector to the cart. I did. We're going to delete the old one off. Which actually wasn't that much cheaper than the Infino one anyway, so. Alright. So. what I did wrong there now. Those should not be going straight there anymore. What did we do? You went to the wrong side of your resistors. That's what you did. You said, hey, we're going to fix the thing and make it not go to the wrong place. And then you put the resistors on the wrong side of the connectors. This is D minus. This is D plus. Update. Now those go to there, and now those go over to there. Okay, so we're gonna actually, we're actually going to eliminate these tracks real quick. You've gotta pay attention when you're connecting this stuff, Cole. Part of it is now that I know where these are going, I'm actually going to move them down here.
that's not connected to ground. That's bad. I never actually tied my 3.3 volt back down again. Whoopsies. Be able to get in there. Okay, hold on. Where is my build? <laughs> well, they were just saying that you know you would type faster with this keyboard keypad. That's all. that same ah, I see that's why because it decided it wanted to be its own its own thing Yeah, everybody, <laughs> everybody is a mod. Franco is a mod everywhere. No fake mod. better.
something I found on basically all uh, design software of this nature is that once you end up with that hard 90 degree bend, uh, like 45 degree bend in your line, you're not getting it back out. Um, However, we can't have, we can't have that. One of the general rules of decoupling capacitors is you don't want it to be coming from, you don't want to go this direction. You want to make sure that if your voltage is going to come in, that it comes through in a way where it has to go to your capacitor before it goes to your chip. our way through here you know clev first of all hello welcome in good to see you uh second of all not a horrible guess actually um specifically because we are making a um a keyboard shaped like a paw Yes, keep moving itself over there. Uh, we're making a little keyboard shaped like a paw. It was a oh, request of Ariella Studies uh, for a little macro pad. Basically, there's a piece of abandonware out there where a couple of guys did a proof of concept prototype of basically this project and went, we're com gonna commercialize it. We'll see you guys in a while. And it's been like four years, there's been nothing. And then one day Ariel is like, hey, so you do electronics, right? Okay, we've changed those. So we're going to rerun our design rule check. In fact, eliminated four. DPH pad. Okay. Oh, this thing is upset that I, I have this. Okay, well, and that's a footprint manufacturer problem. That's not a. I need to go to and adjust that actual footprint. My 
might have to play Spire with Google Docs. <laughs> uh, honestly, the way Shard's been doing their stuff, we might actually be able to put... Um, might be able to create a rule set alternative inside of it. Yeah, alchemy would also work. Keep on carrying our five volts down. I'm gonna rotate that one that way. No. All right. So we just need to. Do a quick pop onto the bottom layer for our... Shard D out here. That's the end of that link chain. And then this one is gonna go back over to that one. This one has to go, oh no, not that one, this one has to go over there, so we can pop a deal here. We're trying to keep the back as clean as possible as far as our, uh, ground plane goes, so we're going to connect things up in a slightly odd fashion. Well, not slightly odd, just in a way that makes it very clear that we are not using the back for primary routing. Uh, that's basically what it comes down to. Alright, let's start connecting our key switches.
so I'm design world check again. Hopefully that gets rid of. Oh wow, that got rid of 50 of my errors. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, corridors overlap. That's fine. Um, Board edge, that's fine. Thermal relief zone incomplete. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, Clev. I really am. Um, I actually thought that connected properly now, but okay. See, that one is actually a problem. Alright, that one I need to fully correct. It's gross. We're also just going to couple stitch a couple of ground planes together here as well, so that we make sure that everything that should be connected to ground is. Um. The merchant class that sacrifices money to a god to get some pretty incredible benefits. You get mind-bending magical powers, but are constantly fighting poverty. <laughs> so what you're telling me is the enemy was capitalism all along. <laughs> 